reason that I wanted to know where this girl could be today who had the vision in a candle flame was to ask her how does this person called Sophie Leaves look like and any further information about her. With a smile, the sister who explained the last moments of Sophie Leaves further explained to me as I questioned that the girl who had the vision of this great person at the moment of her death was a sibling of Sister Madeline who lived with her at Paul. That means this girl is no more. And I was disappointed. Yet, this sister invited me to her convent where this great lady spent her last days and where she breathed her last. I agreed promptly to her invitation. Wait, let me at least tell the name of this angel who is turning the pages of another seeker. She is namely Sister Monica. She said that she belongs to a congregation called the Apostolic Carmel. As we walked, Sister Monica said, Verena, Sophie Leaves was a very well-educated lady, a writer, an excellent musician, and skillful in many handwork. She knew many languages, Latin, French, Italian, German and Greek. In Carmel at Paw, she wrote her life story and many letters too. She was also a very good community member, spreading joy and warmth all around. More than all these, she had a great thirst for something else. What is it, sister? I, who was listening with big eyes, interrupted Sister Monica. By then, we had reached the gates of Carmel at Paul. As we entered inside, Sister Monica drew my attention to a picture of this inspiring woman whom I seek. As I gazed at the picture of Sophie Leaves, I realized that she is a Carmelite nun. What was written in the frame of the picture struck me. It read as Mother Veronica of the Passion, Ni Sophie Leaves. It was also written as the founders of the Congregation of Apostolic Karma. I am confused. She is dressed as a Carmelite nun and she seems to be the foundress of Apostolic Carmel Sisters. Stay with me. There is much more to be revealed.